Hi everybody, 540 on a uh, Thursday. Hope you're doing well. I thought I'd start off with the radar. Um, partly cloudy sky started to pop uh, slowly around the noon hour today. And then because the air is still relatively cold aloft, we started to get cumulus clouds once the temperature popped over 50 degrees. We actually got up to 55. As the temperature kept rising, those clouds started billowing even more and more. And then pop, 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 we've had this line of scattered showers come through. And as you look at the radar, see where the yellow colors are? Those are heavier downpours. And in fact, we've had some reports of hail coming out of these showers. It looks like it's just this one line that's moving off to the uh, east. There's really very little back to the west, as you can see. Um, so that spotty shower chance turned into a little scattered line of mid-afternoon showers that have come across. Here's the way we looked at 5 p.m. 52 it, PDX, light hail being reported. 54 in Salem, 49, some light rain in Vancouver. Again, a lot of these temperatures, I think all three of these actually have been cooled down with the moisture a little bit out there. Anyway, that will fade away um, as temperatures cool down after sunset tonight, which is uh, coming up at 736, by the way. And then mainly dry overnight. And I think outside of a scattered shower along the coast, mainly dry in the morning when you wake up. Okay, here's the update. I don't have a lot of changes for the most part. This front that's coming in tomorrow evening, the latest timing has it 10, 11 o'clock into the I-5 corridor. Still looks like it's going to drop snow levels, bring big time mountain snow to the Cascades, some to the coast range, and hours of steady rain setting up tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night for the valley. So the front coming toward us, here we are. Again, the front itself, 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow evening crossing the I-5 corridor, Portland and Salem. Uh, that low that had taken all week to get down to Southern California has weakened and pushed inland. Pretty much the remnants of it are over Las Vegas right now. Not worried about that system out there for us. So let's talk more about this front coming in. A couple of graphics courtesy of KGW TV. I uh, grabbed these when I was at work this morning. If you don't know, uh, my normal shift for uh, Channel 8 in Portland is the early morning sunrise show, 4.30 to 7. And then again during the noon broadcast, Monday through Friday. So... This is 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. I had some comments of people wanting to know, what about Salem? You know, are we different than Portland? What are we, what are we going to get? So please note with me, as this front comes in, from Longview, Chehalis, down to Eugene, everybody's getting the same weather. It is a widespread <laughs> band of steady rain that's going to take hold in the afternoon and then rain all of the evening. So we're talking about potentially... A good eight hours or so of just steady rain tomorrow with this band pushing across. Snow levels during the day tomorrow, 3,000 feet over the Cascades, so it would be all rain over the coast range. And the brighter pockets here indicate the fact that there would be some heavier rain pockets. I don't think winds are going to be a big deal. I still think as that front approaches tomorrow evening that you folks at the coast could see some south to southwest winds gusting to 40, 45, maybe somebody pops a 50, but nothing that would warrant watches or warnings. And in the valley, I think it's more of like, you know, 15 to 25 mile per hour breezes setting up late tomorrow into the evening, maybe some gusts to 30 or so in the valley. The stronger winds will set up behind the front in the gorge on Saturday. Those westerlies into Hood River, for example, will probably be gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour as colder air comes in on a straight westerly flow. Okay, uh, rain. I showed you this map yesterday. So yesterday, the, the modeling uh, 81 100s in Salem, about the same in, or excuse me, 81 100s in Portland, 92 100s in Salem, not as much in Kelso, 85 100s in Newport. So the modeling that came out this morning is doubling down, and pretty much everybody at the coast gets well over an inch. Maybe the coast ends up averaging an inch and a half. And the models seem to be doubling down. All this, this indicated that we could have some one-inch amounts. Seems to be doubling down that from Eugene up through Portland and Vancouver, most areas have a chance to get an inch of rain from what falls tomorrow through the day Saturday. So even if we don't get that much, clearly we're going to get a good soak. And as I mentioned a moment ago, we could have about eight hours of pretty steady rain setting up. What about snow? Again, courtesy of KGW-TV, this is the European snow model. Um, this is snow amounts of what starts tomorrow all the way through Sunday at 1030 in the evening, 30 inches of Mount Hood. This elevation being picked up here by the modeling is, I believe it's 5,000 feet, 30 inches. Wow. And then if you look at the, at the, uh, legend here, see the purple in the coast range. So that's a foot. That's an upper elevations of the coast range. But I really think that we could get at least six inches and maybe more 
along uh, Highway 6 and 26 above 1,000 feet with that snow starting to accumulate behind the front Friday overnight and then during the day Saturday. So if you're getting up and driving to the coast Saturday morning, check conditions over the coast range. Probably the only ones that could have any snow would be the high passes of 6 and 26. But then later in the day, there's an increasing chance that there will be accumulating snow at least above 1,000 feet. The other passes during the day Saturday should be just rain or a wet mix. But boy, that's going to be something else. We could get uh, 20 inches of snow at government camp. So that's going to be the biggest dump that we've seen up there in, in really quite some time. Snow level forecast unchanged from what I showed uh, you yesterday. 3,000 feet tomorrow. During the day, we come down to 1,200 feet Saturday. So that means it should be rain or a wet mix, all coast range elevations, until Saturday night. Saturday night into Sunday, now the moisture is becoming increasingly scattered. Scattered snow showers make it difficult to get very much, you know, in terms of accumulation. But, you know, most of the mountain passes over the coast range could show at least some snow accumulation in the Sunday morning, so you want to check conditions there. In terms of low spots in some of the metro hills, and maybe a, a rogue cold pool at low elevations on the valley floor, watch out for an early morning snow spot, potentially, Sunday morning and mainly Monday morning. And then if that happens, it would quickly melt off. Tuesday, we go back up to about 1,500 feet for a snow level. So again, that's all what I, what I talked about yesterday. So just the headlines. Steady rain arrives Friday afternoon. We saw the rain ban through the evening hours. Mostly wet hours through Saturday night. Now, Saturday is going to be scattered, but it's going to be numerous showers. Pop, pop, pop. Coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. Uh, and there will be some downpours mixed in. And as the snow levels fall, so does the freezing level, which means those cumulus clouds don't have to work very hard to pop hail. Again, the water droplets bounce up. They catch freezing tips. They freeze into an a ice ball that we call hail, and eventually they come crashing down uh, to the surface. So look for some hail mixed in Saturday, Sunday, maybe even Monday. The Weather Service has upgraded the storm watch for the Cascades to a winter storm warning. That's just the timing thing. We're getting closer. So that's tomorrow afternoon through Sunday. The Coast Range is under a winter weather advisory. Um, I do believe, as I mentioned, that Saturday overnight and the Sunday morning, there could be at least slight accumulations at pretty much any elevation over the Coast Range. Um, and then just kind of a light mix on Sunday. All right, so the forecast numbers. Developing snow up in the mountains of the Cascades, Mount Hood Resorts, tomorrow afternoon. I think through the midnight hour, there could be four to six inches of snow up there. And then the big fall is what falls, you know, midnight through the day Sunday. That could be eight at government camp or more to 16 at Meadows and Timberline. We're going to add some more on Sunday. If you add these numbers up, my numbers actually do equal 30 inches at 5,000 feet and higher from Friday through Sunday. Six plus 16 plus eight. Um, and then Monday, we're starting to, to calm down. The wind flow goes more northwest. The moisture amounts really gets, gets slight, uh, you know, sliced down to just some scattered amounts, one to four inches. And Tuesday, one to three, not much there. Okay. Uh, Seven-day forecast. I, you know, I will share with you, I kind of get a kick as a forecaster when people write in. This is meant as a chuckle with you, or, or you can chuckle with me, okay? But, well, we live in, you know, in Salem. Uh, what about us? Or we live in Oregon City. What about us? We live in Hillsboro. What about us? But what I chuckle about is forecasting is not that good. It's just not. <laughs> I know that we all have apps and we put in zip codes and it makes us falsely believe that somehow we can magically have a forecast dialed into our exact location, which is hogwash. There are times where we can draw a line and we can go, the weather's going to be different north of the Columbia River. The weather's going to be different, Eugene and Salem than Portland. But most of the time, 90% of the time, I as a forecaster can't pinpoint in these broad fronts coming in if it's going to be a heavier amount of rain in Salem than Portland. Or the wind's going to be worse. You know, unless it's a gorge wind, I can pinpoint that. So my point is, this is a case we saw the rain ban on Futurecast. It's a front that's coming across the entire Willamette Valley. I can't pinpoint one area getting different weather than, than someone else. I think we're all going to be kind of averaging pretty close, okay? So with all of that said, the biggest rain push is Friday afternoon, Friday night, numerous showers on Saturday, and it's still going to be pretty wet on Sunday. There's a little impulse that comes through Sunday morning. There's actually another one that comes in Tuesday morning. But certainly Sunday not as wet as Saturday, Monday much drier, Tuesday and Monday just kind of scattered stuff with some breaks. Wednesday looks dry right now. Then there's a weak system that comes in Thursday as well. By the way, I'm, get, I'm getting long, but I will tell you, um, I'm on spring break next week. Yay! So I'm not sure how often I'll be updating things. I'm excited. 
Um, a week from this weekend, it's a long ways out, but there are early signs that that could be a 70-degree stretch of weather, maybe next um, Friday into Saturday, and maybe even Sunday of next weekend. So we'll see if that turns out to be some promise. Okay, don't hit, uh, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't. Tell your friends about it. Thanks for supporting my forecast work. It means a lot to me, truly. And in your comments, you know, let me know if there's something specifically that you're looking for. I read those, and uh, I will address it. All right. 